What's up YouTube, it's your boy Drippy and in today's video I'm going to be going through a behind the scenes of a music video I shot recently. Now before I get into the video I just want to give a shout out to all the people who have been watching my videos. I finally hit up 1000 subscribers so thanks for everyone that's been supporting the channel. I'm going to give you guys something back, I'm not sure what it is now but check the link in the description and you'll find a free gift. And if I get into the first location we shot in the studio and before I even start shooting I always like to walk around with the artist, show them the location and walk them through the type of shot selection. And the idea that I came up with is if we black out the entire studio, fill the back with some haze. Now in the studio there was a spotlight aiming directly down at the artist and it was quite a harsh light which worked really well with the fog so you could see the atmosphere and all the particles in the air. So I decided to get multiple different takes uh, mixed between close shots, mid shots and wide shots and then the cutaways I got in this location uh, shots of him standing in the smoke, shots of him walking through the smoke and just mainly b-roll shots that will complement the performance shot. We wanted a group shot in the same location so we'd be able to cut between another dark location scene. Simply all that was was a sofa in the back, two RGB lights behind the sofa so it was giving separation to the artist in the front and then I set up my cob light with my softbox and grid. Really the same kind of setup with the performance scenes as the scene before. Some handheld shots, close wide, medium and once we finish the studio we actually finish on time with 10 minutes to spare. And that's another thing if you guys ever have to shoot in the studio be aware of the time but you never want to go over because some studios charge late fees and then after that we got a real simple basic shot on the street so three handheld shots close mid and wide shots. The One of the premise of the songs was people chatting shit on the internet so with one of the cutaways we got one of the guys message on his phone and all I'm gonna do is create some graphics on top of a holograph of him just like typing shit and then I got another cutaway of the artist reacting I also decided to get a drone shot so I can use it as an establishing shot so then at the third and final location we decided to shoot outside a block of flats and shooting outside a block of flats now is I don't know how many times I've said this on this channel but with shooting drill music video it just comes with the territory at this location I once again decided to shoot at one handheld just so I can match all the scenes easily because eventually when I cut it there's always going to be a scene that matches the sway of the camera then it will sway back into the other location. That's basically it with the video. It's a really short song so we don't have to shoot that many performance scenes. I had to make up with more cutaways. Now, the only other thing I'd included in this video is a freestyle video. I have the lyrics and images flying on the screen as he's rapping. Out to JP Photography for catching the behind the scenes and behind the scenes photography. Make sure to follow her on Instagram. I'll leave a link down below now. Also make sure to follow me on Instagram at drippy visuals underscore just keep up to date with what i'm doing also follow me on discord i'll leave the link for my discord down below and that's it it's been your boy drippy thanks for watching